Have you ever wondered if you could move to Naples, Florida? Today, we're diving into the truth about Naples, Florida. So before you pack your bags and come on down, here are five things you need to know about Naples, Florida. And stick around to the end of this video because the last item might surprise you. The first thing on our list is the dreaded homeowners association. Either you love them or you hate them. There doesn't seem to be a middle ground. If you move here to Naples, Florida, chances are you are going to live in a community with an HOA. So if you're moving to Naples, Florida, get used to the fact that you are going to have to live by your community's rules. And if you don't, you're going to get that dreaded violation notice either in your mail or your inbox. While HOAs do get a bad rap, the alternative is living somewhere where there are no rules. And what happens where there are no rules? Well, you could live next to a home that has become an Airbnb. And in essence, you're living next to a hotel with nightly renters who you don't know and who don't care if you have to get up for work in the morning. They're on vacation. The next thing is everything is expensive here in Naples, Florida. So if you've seen my videos before, you know we talk about what it costs to live here and a median home right now will cost you approximately $600,000. And that's for like a three bedroom, two bath home without a pool, 20 minutes or more from the beach. If you're coming here and looking to rent, it's gonna cost you two grand or more a month. So you bought a home here, great. Well, now you may be shocked to see what it costs to insure that home. If you can find an insurance agency that will take you, you're going to need wind insurance. Wind insurance only covers wind, the wind part of a hurricane. It used to be called hurricane insurance, but since they took the flooding part out of it, it's only called wind insurance, not hurricane insurance. Next, you're going to need flood insurance if you live in an area where flooding is prone or if you are in a designated flooding zone. And on top of that, you're going to need your regular homeowner's policy. So those three policies could cost you $6,000 or more every year. It's another hidden cost of living here in Naples, Florida. The third thing I'm gonna talk about is the weather. Boy, it's hot and humid here almost all of the time, and even more so in the summer. If you're moving to Naples, Florida, you need to realize from June to November, if you have activities you wanna do outside, you need to plan to do them in the morning. First off, it's much cooler in the morning, and second, you're gonna avoid those afternoon thunderstorms. And then there's that pesky hurricane season. While we don't always get a devastating storm yearly, it is possible. On the flip side, it rarely rains in the winter. The fourth thing on my list is bugs, 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 and more bugs. Southwest Florida is a paradise, not only for us, but for bugs too. Naples has mosquitoes that you swear are the size of hummingbirds. And we also have gigantic palmetto bugs, AKA roaches, which will give you nightmares. And then there's our ant problem. And no, I'm not talking about your lovely relatives that like to come visit every once in a while. No, I'm talking about the ghost and the sugar ants that we have here. You will be on a never ending battle with these ants in your home. They never give up. And the last thing on my list that might cause you to think twice before you move here, everything closes early. Forget about going to dinner at eight o'clock unless you like to dine alone and you like the staff staring at you waiting for you to leave. Seriously, Naples is the land of happy hour and eating early. Costco is a ghost town after 6 p.m. So tip, it's a good time to visit them. Few retailers are open past eight o'clock in season. And in the summertime, stores tend to close by 6 p.m. Even the grocery stores close by nine in Naples. Don't bother going to Walmart either late at night. They close at 11. So if you're a night owl, Naples might not be the place for you. So the sidewalks might roll up at nine and there might be a few little things that aren't your cup of tea, but I still think Naples is a great place to live. What are your thoughts? 